Hey, DC Collectors, welcome to a brand new episode of the show. Today, we're going back in time a little bit and taking a look at a couple of figures from the Kenner Classic Total Justice line of action figures. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Aquaman. Aquaman was part of the first wave of action figures in Total Justice, and he included a variant. And I've included both figures here today. As you can tell, this is the regular version of the action figure. This is the variant with the gold armor on the side. Now, if you're wondering why Aquaman has a hook for a hand, this is part of the 90s run of Aquaman from Peter David. Now, the front of the packaging is just classic 90s toy packaging. Nice artwork here to make you really want to buy the figures and, and let you know that it's part of the DC line. And then just a window box showing you that you what you get with the accessories that it comes with. This over here also includes an exclusive Batman and Superman figure art offer. It was a, it was a two-pack that you had to mail away for. And we will eventually get to review that too. While the figure is a tad different, the packaging for both is pretty much exactly the same. UPCs are the same. Skews are the same. Everything is, is exactly the same for this guy. Of course, you get a little bio about Aquaman, a little bio about Total Justice, kind of some instructions on how the armor works, and of course, all the figures that come in wave one. Bottom of the packaging is also exactly the same, just a nice Total Justice logo. With a look at the packaging out of the way, let's break these guys open. And let's see what all the hubbub's about. So here are the figures out of the packaging. And as you can see, they, yes, they do look very hard to stand and, and they are. The super sculpted look of these figures really does not lend itself to being easy to stand. They're actually very difficult to stand. But once you get them in a, in a, in a set position, they, sh they should be good to go. I've had some on the shelf now for a while that haven't fallen in six months or so. Let's start off by taking a look at the accessories. And yes, both figures have the same exact set. So we'll just look at one set. Here is the launcher that goes on Aquaman's arm. And as you can see, it just attaches here. You just kind of plug that onto his right arm. And of course, there is this launching piece here. How does this go in? Oh, it goes just like this. Now, what's interesting is the pack packaging showed that this was gold and not purple which is kind of weird. I don't know why, you know, the, the photo was probably taken during proto with prototypes and uh, somewhere along the way they were like, oh, let's go with purple instead of gold, but neither here nor there. It's still pretty cool. Uh, there is a launching mechanism on the back. You can see this little lever here. If you click it, let's see what happens. Ah! Here's another little piece that attaches to his left arm. Just some more of that tactical armor that Batman gave every hero in this line. And here's a piece that goes over his left shoulder. Of course, it has this this neat little, I don't even know what the purpose of it is for, but you know, you can pose this thing so it turns all the way around or down or have it hidden. On my shelf, I don't have the armor on these guys. I have it just in a box somewhere because they look cooler without the armor. So here's a close-up look at Aquaman. For a 90s figure, you know he has a decent face. Uh, lots of really, really super sculpted musculature on this guy. <laughs> I mean, they uh, go go all out on giving you every bit of definition they can harness out of this sculpt. Uh, this is a very 90s <laughs> action figure. It looks like a 90s piece of comic book art come to life. <laughs> It is super crazy. I guess if you're a kid in the 90s and you were wanting to play with action figures, you thought this was the greatest. You know, I, I come from the superpowers era. And, I, it, and after it ended, I so wanted another DC line. And this was the follow-up to the superpowers. And it was nowhere near what I wanted. But now, for whatever reason, I do have sort of this nostalgic feel for the Total Justice line. Even though, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're not... They're not the greatest to stand on the shelf. But once you get a whole pile of them on the shelf together, they look pretty cool. As far as articulation goes, his head can turn not all the way around. It could, but you have that sculpted hair and his chin. It's going to keep him from turning because those uh, shoulder muscles there are just like crazy. His arms can turn all the way around. No articulation anywhere else. This is a straight up five points of articulation action figure. Legs, you can see he can kick. <laughs> He can kick like that, and he can kick backwards. But of course, if you if you stretch him all the way out, he's not going to be able to stand at all. Uh, this is like the craziest thing ever. Who would who would who would want that? I don't know. I don't know. It's just crazy. 
Uh, <laughs> he looks like he just got finished breakdancing, and that's the pose he's in. Now I have to figure out the exact pose to get him to stand again. Uh, you just have to kind of play with it to get it just right. So he stands. I ah, got lucky there. Taking a look at these two, as you can see, the only difference is the gold and black armor on their shoulders and right arms. That That's pretty much it. This is the exact same figure. That's why it's known as a variant. No other color differences at all. So here is what he looks like all armored up. And uh, yeah, good luck getting this guy to stand without it. The armor, because of Aquaman's hair, this shoulder strap piece is very hard to stick on. It just, it doesn't want to stay. This gun on the side is so heavy that you can't really, it, it, he's going to naturally lean. I, there may be a way to get him to stand. I, I've i played with it for a while here between camera takes and I, I just, I can't do it. Uh, the, the, the fractal armor gear, while the idea is kind of cool for a toy line, uh, it, it's not realistic. And so you, you can't really put them on a shelf and watch them stand. Some of the figures you can, this one, you definitely can't. That, that gun is just too entirely big. And like I was saying before with this, you can pose the armor in all kinds of different ways. Why? What, what's it used for? Who knows? Uh, I guess it's just there to, to really look cool to the kids. I don't care for it. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I'm not po putting it on the shelf with this, but if you really wanted to get a nice look at the figure all geared out, here he is. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have much of, in the way of armor, but I guess you got to protect the, uh, the one arm there. That's, it's crazy. I know. But it, hey, it's the it's the nineties, so you get what you get. So there you have it, folks. Aquaman from Total Justice and his Golden Armor variant. Both of these figures were released in, I believe, nineteen ninety six. If you have these, leave a comment below. Let me know if if you still have them, what you thought of them. Did you enjoy them when you were little and playing with them? Do you enjoy them now? Let me know all about it in the comment section below. If you like what I'm doing here, just kind of showing you new and retro toys from the DC universe, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. Share this video. That's the best way you can help me grow is to is to share the content to all your, your DC friends. I sure would appreciate it. Check out dccollectors.com each and every day for the latest DC Comics toy news. Hit me up on DC underscore collectors on Instagram and DC collectors on Facebook and Twitter. All right, folks, that is it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed a retro look at the Total Justice Aquaman figure. God bless.